That said, um, one big area that has kind of surfaced in some of uh, our conversations and some of our testing with it here uh, in the security lab is um, it's going to become apparent very quickly for some organizations that they have misconfigured permissions, right? <laughs> and the reason I say that, the example that comes up is, um, you know, I, I, a user uh, puts in a prompt um, and quickly finds out that, oh, they have access to the accounting share, for example. Hey, show me the salary information. Oh, yeah, it's in this Excel file over here, right? So, I mean, it will become uh, very apparent where... Whereas, like, you know, I guess I can say this, in the old days, right, that user would have to browse out to where the information was, and it wouldn't necessarily be surfaced for them in such an easy fashion, right? So, I mean, I, I know that's the one area that um, we've been talking a lot about internally. I don't know if you've been, if you've run across that conversation yourself yet, Paul. Absolutely. So, I've written an article on it, which is probably part of why you and I are having this conversation now. So, we'll include that in the show notes below or above or to the yep. side, wherever sure they go, <laughs> depending on your platform. Uh, so, I've written an article on exactly this problem. So, uh, seasoned IT pros who were around a few years ago probably remember Delve. So, Delve was a Microsoft sort of precursor to, you know, Copilots and stuff, which was basically trawling through documents in your Microsoft 365 tenant and surfacing them to you. So, like, hey, I noticed that you're reading these three, um, you know, balance sheet documents. Here's another one that you might be interested in. So, when you'd look in Delve, you'd see these sort of suggested documents for you. Right. And of course, there were a lot of organizations that went, oh, you shouldn't see that document. Whoops. You know, like, oh, we probably need to go and check our SharePoint permission settings here because we really screwed up. But right. the big difference here and between what you were saying before and that in scenario with Delve is that in Delve, at least, you saw the document name and you could figure out where it came from and you could go, oh, oh, you, well, you shouldn't really have access to it. Nobody in this department should have access to that. Let's go and fix the permissions right now. The difference between that and Copilot is you don't necessarily know where it's going to get the information. If you say, tell me the general trends of salaries at, uh, you know, Contoso, it might go <laughs> and find that information and go, yeah, here you go. Here's a, here's a trend index of, you know, whatever everybody earns. And if you happen to have access to I mean, I, I hope this isn't happening at a lot of organizations, but it's a good example of what could happen. And now you right. can just use your imagination across hundreds of other types of information that where the SharePoint permissions or the OneDrive permissions have not been configured correctly. And all of a sudden that information is available to you because the important thing to stress here is when you're using Copilot, it can only access documents you have access to. So if you have access to the document, Copilot is always on behalf of you. So it will go and look. And if you ask it through a prompt about, I don't know, project defects over the last six months, and you have access to wherever that information is stored, it's going to go and find those documents, draw through them, and give you a summary of the project defects, whether you should have access to that or not, if you have access to those documents. 